Today we are going to visit an arboretum, we're going to check out some um, amazing rock slides, we're going to check out a superb waterfall and we're going to go in a wine tasting tour and all of that for only $15. Today we're having a huge itinerary planned. We are first heading to the Eastwood Hill Arboretum, then we are heading to the Rary Rock Slide, one of the longest rock slides in the world, then we are checking out the Rary Falls nearby, and we are finishing in Gisborne at the Wine Centre. After a 30 minute drive out of Gisborne, we arrive at the Eastwood Hill Arboretum, which is the largest arboretum in New Zealand. It covers 131 hectares of land and is the largest collection of Northern Hemisphere trees in the Southern Hemisphere. Because we arrive a little bit early for our tour, we take some time at the Discovery Centre, but it's already time for our curator tour, which is basically a nice ride around with the curator itself. They have a massive jeep fitted with ton of seats and they even have a trailer fitted with even more seats. It's so comfortable and it's a great way to go all around the massive arboretum. Dan's gonna be our tour guide for this curator tour and he has a really good setup. He has a microphone that speaks onto speakers so everybody in the whole truck can hear him very well. And the tour starts with a little bit of history about the arboretum. The first plantings at Eastwood Hill happened in 1910 when the landowner Douglas Cook, who was originally a farmer, started a massive mission to plant hundreds and hundreds of trees. Over the 55 years that he was here, he planted 5,000 trees and now this whole place is maintained by a small team of volunteers. Dan shows us a collection of trees from all over the world, starting off with some unusual trees from China and Mexico. And this is all mixed in with a bunch of native trees from New Zealand as well, like Nikal Palms and Totara. It's such an unusual mix, and as you can imagine, it's unlike anything we have seen in New Zealand so far. We quickly realized that Eastwood Hill Arboretum is not just an awesome place to learn about the natural environment of New Zealand, but really to learn about tree species and the natural environment from trees all over the world and how that fits in with the New Zealand ecosystem. On top of learning about all the different tree species at Eastwood Hill Arboretum, we also learn about how this place dramatically changes between the seasons. We are arriving here just before those autumn colours are starting to pop out and really autumn is meant to be the most glorious time to be here and that's between March and May in New Zealand. If you guys are visiting the Arboretum on a budget, there is a lot of different walking options that you can take. They are ranging from about 30 minutes, really easy kind of walk, to a good 3 hours where you're going to get to see most of what the Arboretum has to offer. It's a really colourful place and there's really a lot to see here. Laura and I were absolutely so surprised on how many different colours and shades of tree we were able to see in this very short tour. Despite this is not autumn, we are actually seeing so many different colors. It feels like it is. There is a ton of red and yellow trees, but this is because they have this kind of foliage all year round. And this is really what this arboretum is showcasing. It's the wealth and variety of the vegetation available on planet Earth. It's a massive eye opener. And this is exactly why this arboretum is organized the way it is. The Eastwood Hill Arboretum includes over 17 spaces. There's different garden, theme plantation, herbarium and much more. And obviously all this varied vegetation attracts a ton of wildlife. We get to see a ton of wood pigeons which is basically a beefed up version of your classic pigeon from Europe or North America. And on top of it it's so much more colourful with this beautiful white shade and green head. Dan tells us that we actually can hear over 40 different type of birds all around the arboretum and this is why this whole place sounds so magical. It's a beautiful enchanting forest with heaps of bird songs. One of the really interesting and last trees that we're seeing today is a tree from Florida which roots rise up above the swampland really so those roots can breathe which is quite unusual. As the curator tour is coming to an end, we have plenty of time left in the day to check out more of the Gisborne area because the Eastwood Hill Arboretum is not the only hidden gem in Gisborne. 
So we're heading to the Rere Rock Slide to have some fun. It's actually one of the longest natural rock slides in the world. We've got a bodyboard, we've got two able bodies. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Next time on New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, day 271, part two, we're gonna check out one of the world's longest rock slides. We're also gonna check out one of the most pristine waterfalls in the entirety of New Zealand. And we're gonna head to Gisborne to try some of the most delicious wine that the North Island of New Zealand has to offer. Join us then.